All right, hey guys, boom. So this is Ross here. We're we're currently playing Dominations. I love this game. This game, you know, I've been, I've been playing this game for such a long time now, and I've I've made it to the the global age. It's not not really, you know, uh, not really the easiest age to get to, but yeah, I mean, this is one game that really I find really sticks. Uh, I'm currently, if you if you want to find me. Um, I'm currently in the um, New Zealand War Alliance. You should be able to find me, find me there, or just message through um, through Google or Facebook. So I just wanted to show you just um, just one of the gameplays that I just did. I put quite a quite a bit of thought into it with this attack. I didn't really get. Um, I wasn't actually able. To, okay, I actually got the five stars. Um, yeah, I was really trying for this one. Um, Precisely because I was trying to use a different tactic, where it's kind of um, kind of attacking as a wave, as a wave instead of like just one point. So what I did was I created like a, a whole round area. So yeah, let's check it out. Um, all right. So initially, what I was trying to do is start from here, all the way down, go all the way around. So, I didn't realize this was the replay of the of a few minutes ago. So it goes pretty successful. Um, the I just I keep fortifying the side man. I I find that what happens a lot is because the artillery have a different target base, according to you know, you you always think that your your rifles are gonna stay close to the artillery, which is usually not the case. Um, so just in case I always um now I always if they split off to one side and I've got my rifles on the other. Because usually what happens is that the rifles predominantly in the gameplay always head towards um, head towards the troops. I mean, you know, and usually they head towards the troops where they spawn from they, like say the garrison or the the tank depots. They will head there. Naturally now, because that's where the enemy is coming from. Because the artillery is on a different scale, you'll find that a lot of the times they will always um, always split up in two. Um, but yeah, that was a very successful attack. Um, but yeah, I was I was quite. I, I find that it's it's really good to kind of try and create a, another force, not just like a lot of people experiment and be like, okay, I'm gonna chuck in heaps of Gurkhas or I'm gonna fill it up with tanks. But if you actually create um, if you actually create like a, a fighting force, as you can see, I had I had one tank. I thought about getting two tanks, but I was like, okay, no, I'll get the flame tank, I'll get the their rifles, which are only three range, um, Gurkhas, and um, and the Raiders, and that turned out to be really good, um, but yeah, um, what a fantastic gameplay, I thought, um, I'll post up more if I have any more epic ones, but yeah, um, enjoy. <laughs> 